What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball. And today I want to focus on more of like your Kyrie type finishing, your jelly, your jelly finish. Yes, you have to have a pretty good, ba uh, pretty good basketball and a clean backboard, but today I want to show you a couple ways to not only become a better finisher, but how to use a little bit of jelly towards the backboard so my athletic and non-athletic players still have an advantage to put the ball in a specific spot in order to finish. Some of you don't want to miss, man. You already know, let's get it. All right, right now with this drill, it's gonna be similar to the mic and drill, but we're just taking it up three or four notches. So I'm right directly under the rim, and right now I wanna be able to rotate my wrist. So I wanna be able to turn my wrist counterclockwise in my right hand, and I'm spinning it, trying to find the sweet spot. So during this series, you're gonna probably have a lot of misses, but these misses are, let, are allowing you to know what spot works, how your ball gets off the backboard, and how much spin you need to use. So we'll start off here using that right hand, using just a little bit of English, maybe a slight jump. My taller guys don't have to jump. Once you get about six or seven makes, now you're gonna use that weaker hand or your left hand. Once again, trying to find just that sweet spot on the backboard. Once you feel pretty confident with that now, once again, we were directly under the rim. Now I want to get on the opposite side of the rim. You can, yes, you can jump a little bit to the right, but I want to allow the basketball to do most of the work. So your body, not so much right now. Your wrist and the ball are going to try to do most of the work. Having to use a little bit more English now. Spinning a little bit harder. Really finding that spot on the glass. There it is. Hey, there it is. Once you get five to six makes, same thing with that left hand now. On the other side of the rim, being able to find it. There it is. Really see that basketball catch. Catch off that glass. Ooh, give me one more. There it is. This one here, what we're trying to do, we're facing the rim. Just depends how athletic you are. Try to touch the net, and then now I wanna be able to spin the ball. So I'm jumping now, using a little bit of my athleticism, but we're finishing on the way down, and then be able to use that English to finish. More athletic guys, try to get halfway to the, through the net, or possibly touch the rim, and then once again finish on the way down. Now we're starting about four feet from the backboard. It'll take a dribble. Now we're going here, once again, trying to finish. So as I reach, slightly reach, just make sure it's really important that ball gets the forehead or higher, eyes are higher, and then now I'm having this little circular motion trying to finish. ways that really help you finish on the way down. I learned this actually, I believe like in sixth grade, I thought it was really cool. I went to the uh, GlaxoSmithKline, which is called the John Wall now. Saw some guys doing this, thought it was really cool. So being able to jump, you can go one foot or two foot here, but I want to jump, I want to go between the legs and finish. So don't think about how you're going between the legs is, is really cool, but more we're focusing on finishing and once again on the way down, I'm having to do something in the air. One hand's got to connect and then I still gotta be able to find that place. So we're not focusing on English. Either I'm going off one foot, off the backboard to finish, or if I'm going off two feet, once again, I'm focusing on finishing on the way down. Let's get a couple reps here. It's easy for you, challenge yourself. Take that one foot, go on the opposite side. Right now, showing my guys, first level is simply one foot, and two feet, same side. Uh. Uh. Hey. Your legs are dead. If you don't jump as high, it's gotta be really more on the speed, getting that ball between the legs. So one foot, get a five or six reps, and then give me two feet, 
five to six reps. All right, last one. Well, now when I'm going between the legs, either one feet, one foot, excuse me, or two feet, I'm here. I can go outside hand and use that English, or I can go inside hand and use that English. Both are really tough ways to finish at the basket. One foot or two feet here. Once you start building confidence with these finishes right here, finish on the way down, using that English finish with your right, using the English finish with your left, confidence starts to build. Once again, because you're doing it daily, 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 that's gonna be that compound interest. And before you know it, you'll be starting, you'll see yourself starting to do different moves and different finishes in the game. And before you know it, you'll be able to do something like a, like a 360 between the legs layup or something. But you already know. Let's get it.